All right, in this video, I'm gonna cover a little technique with Ildrame. For starters, here are my basic stats and gears. Here is my running speed and jump speed. It's pretty fast. And this is what I'll be showing you how to achieve, how to get this fast. So generally, when the Ilgime is on the attack, it will jump or double jump and then attack and then plant a flower, and then repeat to try to get from A to B. Now, notice when I first planted flower, which I believe are called cherry blossoms in English. I remember watching the Iljame movie with a friend of mine, shout out to Asuki. I'm gonna say flowers just for short. As you see, when planting the flower before attacking, I move noticeably faster in the air. I believe speed stacks by some multiple based off your current base speed, which leads me to something important I should point out. Buying a new Ojime with zero speed won't be able to do this technique. Trust me, I tried. You need a substantial amount of speed for this to be noticeable and effective. Now for some applications to get some ideas going. Now let's imagine that there's a gap or something between me and developer cam. I'm able to essentially jump and plant a kick behind them with high speeds. The hitbox of the kick is also increased with this technique, by the way. It can be pretty useful for getting behind people, and my current screen resolution setting is also helpful as well because I can see further distance which allows me to get a better planning going. What I mean is, if a player was to be using developer K, chances are they wouldn't be able to see where I initially jumped from. I have a video on resolution I made a while back that'll explain this all a lot clearer. It'll be in the description and at the end of the video, so be sure to check it out. Now, I'm showing you just the basics of what this technique can do, but I can say jump from a further distance to tighten up the kick a little bit and just overall make it all a lot more unpredictable. I should also point out that while plants and flowers to increase your speed, the moment you attack once, your speed becomes locked in place till you land and restart. So yeah, you can basically stop to any hero with a good air attack while arcane armor is on and essentially increase its range. The possibilities are endless. But there is a catch. When swapping to a hero mid flight like that, each time you plant a flower, your hero changes in a random direction, which is uncontrollable, and the moment you swap, it will jerk heavily in the direction you are currently facing. Here is me with my trying to attack straight ahead. As you can see, I jerked heavily to the side, which threw me off quite a bit. But there is hope. To prevent you from changing directions in the air while planting flowers, you can teleport off the platform, and I mean with the bottom of the map beneath you, and you won't change directions in the air each time, you will continue to face the same direction you initially started in. This also allows you to increase your height, which means a further travel distance.
One of my favorite things to do is swap through here with the wings because you can just glide like no tomorrow. The rest of the video is just me playing around with Eljamir. In conclusion, there are just many different things you can do with this technique, with or without arcane armor. It will take time to learn to control this technique though. I recommend trying to leave one passive meter behind so if you do miss your attack you can change directions or if off the map you can change directions as well. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. If you didn't, like and subscribe and then tell me why not and how to improve in the comments below. You can check out the resolution video I talked about earlier over here. Until next time, I can fly. Can you? Did you take the time to test out which resolution works best for you or did you just pick the cutest number you saw? In this video, I'll cover some details about resolution and talk about my personal opinion on what works best in La Saga. Thank you.